All right, today we're going to be looking at the spider and how to assemble it, and I'll show you a variation that you can make. So there's two different variations of the model. There is the uh, furry spider, and you see it's got these little holes that go all the way through it. It's got these two little holes here and two little holes here, and I'll show you what all these holes do. And it's got a smooth spider, like that. And you can cut uh, a little bit of the abdomen off using uh, an Exacto 235 saw. Yeah, it's a really fine tooth saw, but it cuts through this resin like butter. And if you cut it, you can then attach the spider to a crystal like that. Um, this one's still drying, so I haven't posed the legs. But you can make phase spiders out of them. If you don't know what a phase spider is, it's a Dungeons Dragons uh, spider. But they kind of look like this when they're fully posed. So here's a ring. And be for electroforming, so I'll end up electroforming over the entire model. But yeah, you can pose it and then attach the legs to different areas, and that's what I like about the metal legs versus the plastic legs because you can really kind of bend those legs around things and make different compositions. Okay, so to start out with, uh, just know that there's these four little holes. And what this is for is if you wanted to make a climbing spider. Uh, so I'll make one climbing spider and show you how that works. Uh, then that's like the worst case scenario one, okay? So in order to make the climbing spider, you will need like a little bit of a small drill bit just because I don't like to have the holes going all the way through the model. And you might have to have different variations of it. So what I use is a pin vise. And I'll get my pin vise and I'll show you what a pin vise is and we'll drill out those little holes. Alright, so this is a pin vise. It holds a very small drill bit. I think this is a one millimeter drill bit. And all you do is put your pin vise in these little holes and you can drill them out even further. Okay. A lot of times it does go down there quite a bit, but it's a one millimeter hole and it does fill with resin real easy. So you will probably have to drill these out. Unless you got everything like super on point with your 3D printer. And you can chuck these up into a Fordham too. I'm just showing you the the one that most people are going to use. All right, so there we go. We just have those four holes burrowed out. Okay, so the next step, you just kind of put him off the side, and then you get some 14 gauge stranded wire. Boom, boom, just like that, and you peel the coating off. Okay, then you're going to get this stuff. Okay, boom. So you can print the spider in any size you want. He can go all the way down to about a, a 20 millimeter spider. Um, I print them at 38 millimeters. So what you do is you do the 14 gauge wire, you twist it like that. Then you do find a drill. You're going to need a drill for the next part. Uh, it doesn't matter what drill you use. I'm just going to use this. You chuck this two wire up in the drill and then you turn it on. And that will make leg material. Again, it doesn't matter what drill you use. And just for entertainment, I'm just going to, yeah, that's all you do. And you chuck it up and you, you, you go. The pedal's way over there. It's going to be awkward. So I already got some already made. Ta-da. So this twisted stuff is really sturdy. Okay. And it lends to a tooth. So if you do the electroforming of the spider, 
you're going to get some variations of texture and some strength because of the twists. So what you do is now measure off. I roughly go a little over on this. So I cut one pair of legs. You pretend it's going to go all the way through that hole and out the other side. And you cut it and then you cut four of these strands the same size. Just like that. So now I got four of these sorts of strands, roughly two inches ish. And then what I like to use is a pair of these rounded nose pliers. You can use whatever pliers you want, but all I'm doing with these is making a little U. Kind of looks like that, see, or an L. All right, which one is it? I got the furry one. So what you do, if I can get this on camera, is you aim for the first set. These two up front are for the little mandibles. And then the next set right there, you go all the way through. And then you just do this little like rock. And you pull it through. So it looks like that. And then you kind of try to center it. I just kind of look, look at that and see if it's centered. Boom. And then I keep repeating that over and over until I get all the legs built. Another L. You can get pretty fast at this. Get an L. Pull it through. Boom. And repeat. All right, once you have all four of the legs in, all the way through, then you get to use 14 gauge wire again but this time you're using a single strand and you're doubling it over kind of like that okay? and then you chop it so it's got a nice even barb so it kind of looks like that kind of hairpin and that is your mandibles 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 so that slides in the front just like that and then once you have all these in place then you can just glue these so what I use is a super kind of a, a, a thinner glue I'm using the medium insta-cure I would recommend even the thinner than this but that's just me unless you're really good at it so what you do is you put a little drop on the wire and let it just capillary effect right into the spider so you just put a little drop just at the opening of the hole and then, then you tip it this way and it'll slide right into the spider. Now you could use the resin. You could use resin. I find it a little stronger with the super glue, to be honest with you. Okay, so it's sliding down into the spider and then you Fuse it with baking soda. Just like that. And now you do the other side, just like that too. And hopefully you didn't cover your holes like I did for your climbers. So I'm going to reburrow that hole out. Again, it slides right down into the spider. Then you fuse it with baking soda. Baking soda acts instantly, it almost hardens instantly, but it is kind of loose.
All right, so what you do is just make sure that you're burrowing out any of these that you got covered over. Right away. So these are for the climbing aspect of the spider. And what you do is make another U for the... This one's going to be a really small U. And this does take some grace to put together. So I'll just make a giant one. And I'm only going to do one. You get to do the other one. So what I do is around there and you can work your magic any way you want you either put it in the hole and then put the rub or put the glue in there or you put the glue in there first but the loop looks like that I'll show you what a dangling one looks like all together and fused with copper. So I'm just gonna fuse that. Boom. All right, so let me show you what one of these look like with the climbing aspect already built. All right, so here's those two loops. You can see I can get. I got this wire that goes through the loop and then I loop the loop around the loop. So it goes in there, I loop it around and then out. So that makes it so it dangles. And then you put a loop at the very top of this. This is a single strand of 14 gauge wire. You can go thinner than that, it looks cool. Then I put this ring on it. So you can hang this by your wall, on your wall. And it looks like the spider is climbing up your wall. This copper spider. And you can mount them on anything. That's what they look like electroform though. Very cool composition piece to add to your other compositions. You know, like if you have your witch's broom, like this. And you can put a spider right here, and it looks like it's climbing up the witch's broom. But yeah, endless amounts of possibilities when it comes down to it. All right, so that's how you assemble the spider. You get to electroform it, but the model is now available at firstdensitymaterial.com. And he's a, kind of a small price, but he's got some big results. Enjoy.